Welcome to this follow-up video on Shamir's secret sharing scheme and Lagrange interpolation. The previous video introduces Shamir's secret sharing scheme and ends with an exercise, so you probably want to watch that video first before continuing this one, or else it will make very little sense. If you did the exercise, you should have found that for the finite field set 11, the solution is that f of x is equal to 6 plus 3 times x plus x squared, which gives this polynomial. That means the value of the secret is 6. We can also verify that this line indeed hits all the shared points. Finite fields deserve an introduction on their own. Perhaps I should make a short video about these as well, but bearing in mind my video release cycle so far, you should probably not hold your breath. So if instead you apply the Lagrange interpolation without taking the finite field into account, you should have found the solution that f of x is equal to 17 minus a times x plus x squared. Here the secret value is 17. And again we can verify that the polynomial indeed hits all the shared points. In the last video we turned Lagrange interpolation into a friendly monster. I also promised to introduce an alternative approach to compute the polynomial based on the shares of the secret, which we will look into now. We want to figure out the polynomial used to distribute the secret value, here a0. We know the shape of the degree 2 polynomial. What we need to compute are the values of the parameters a0, a1 and a2. I reordered the multiplications and use colored highlighting to distinguish how each parameter contributes to the polynomial. Using the shares from the exercise before, we are given three points on the secret polynomial, which is exactly enough to determine the exact polynomial. But instead of using Lagrange interpolation, we will determine this polynomial in a different manner. First, let's plug in the parameterized definition of f of x into these equations. That is, instead of saying that 2 is equal to f of 3, we say that 2 is equal to a0 plus 3 times a1 plus 3 squared times a2. Similarly, we can rewrite f of 4 and f of 5. Nothing too remarkable happening here. Let's also get rid of the squared numbers and replace them with 9, 16 and 25. Now we can clearly see that we have three different equations with three unknown parameters, a0, a1 and a2. This means that you can use these equations to recover those parameters using a process known as variable elimination. Instead, one could also use Gaussian elimination, but simple variable elimination seems simpler and more suited for this presentation. Variable elimination works as follows. We start off with the three equations that contain an equal number of variables, a0, a1 and a2. As the name suggests, we are going to eliminate variables. What that means is we will express each variable in terms of the other components of the equation until only numerical values remain. We start by using the first equation to express a0. The equality tells us that a0 is equal to 2 minus 3 times a1 minus 9 times a2. We're going to go ahead and replace the first equation by this expression for a0 since it contains exactly the same information just expressed differently. We can now eliminate the variable a0 in the other two equations by substituting it for its equal counterpart. The other equations get quite long but can easily be simplified. Minus 3 times a1 plus 4 times a1 is just a1 and minus 9 times a2 plus 16 times a2 makes 7 times a2. So that means we can simplify the second equation as such. And similarly, the third equation simplifies to 2 plus 2 times a1 plus 16 times a2. Now, note that now we have simplified the last two equations to only contain two variables. a0 has been eliminated. We can do the same trick for a1 using the second equation. This equation tells us that a1 must be equal to 1 minus 2, which is minus 1, minus 7 times a2. And again, we can drop the original equation. We can now substitute a1 in the last equation, taking care to correctly handle the multiplication by 2. We can simplify the multiplication, giving us minus 2 minus 14 times a2 for the red part in the equation. To reduce further, 
2 minus 2 is 0, and minus 14 plus 16 means 2 times a2. So the last equation is simply a 2 equals 2 times a2. This then tells us that a2 has to be equal to 1. We can now work backwards through the other equations to end up with the numerical values for each variable. a1 is minus 1 minus 7, which is minus 8. a0 then becomes 2 plus 24 minus 9, which is 17. All variables have now been eliminated, and we end up with concrete values that we can plug into the polynomial shape. This gives us the polynomial 17 minus 8 times x plus x squared. And as you may recall, this is indeed exactly the same polynomial we found using Lagrange interpolation, with the secret value being 17 and the polynomial going exactly through each of the three points that we used to determine it. Okay, that was all for this video. In the next video, we will have a look at how Shamir's secret sharing scheme can be used to enable secure multi-party computation. This allows parties to run certain computational operations on secret values and learn the outcome of those computations without learning anything else about the secret input values from the other parties. See you then!